Park. We have a circuit style workout today. Our intervals are going to be a whole minute of somewhat cardio intense activity. Uh, and we're gonna roll through our five exercises for the upper body and then the lower body two times. So we'll run through each one and then we'll come back and do it again. While we're getting set up, I'll demonstrate the exercises for the upper body, and then we'll go ahead and get grooving. So, upper body exercise, we have forearm fireworks, so explosive movements with the hands to get into the forearms. Then we have tricep dip, familiar work exercise, down and up. After that, we're doing our bicep curls. Then we have plank rows. We come into a plank position, lifting alternating hands, using the muscles of the back to help lift the arms up and off the floor. And then lastly, we have forearm plank rocker side to side. And I will absolutely be demonstrating each one of these again as we work into that portion of the workout. So let's come on up to stand, get started, grab your water, keep it handy. We do not have cardio bursts in between because a lot of the stuff we're doing, especially for the lower body, is cardio intensive in itself. So without further ado, bands are on, cycles are going. Awesome. We're gonna start with our forearm fireworks. One minute, let's get moving. Out and in. And, and today, of course, always keeping safety in mind. The goal of these exercises is to move through them fast. We want as many reps as possible in that time period, of course, always keeping good form. So really pump those hands, get those forms moving, and we'll have a solid Thursday workout. Woo. Week started slow, now it's going fast. I like it, half done. And we're only doing this once on the first round, so really give me all you've got, because we have four more rounds of exercises before we come back to this. Last 15 seconds, let's go, move it. Yeah. All right, final 10, then we're gonna drop down for our tricep dip. Give me seven, six, five, four, Three, two, and one. 20 seconds rest. And in that time, we make our way down onto our mat, our workspace, butt off the ground. One whole minute in three, two, one. Down, press up. Down and up. If anyone has wrist issues, you can always do the tricep extensions, your choice. But whichever variation you choose, we've got a whole minute, so let's do it. And I think my triceps are still sore from Tuesday. <laughs> nice. Good. See if we can make it a little bit faster without letting your butt touch the floor. If you're needing more challenge today, do it with straight legs. Make it a strength exercise. It's strength all around. This just makes it a little bit harder. Yes. Last 20 seconds. Many as we can squeeze out. Keep those hips up. Good. I'm going to do bent knee today because my arms are a little bit sore. Amazing. Last 10. Then we're going to come up for a rest and move into bicep curls. Give me five, four, three, two, and one. Everybody up for our bicep curls. We are going fast as fast as we can, but still engaging the muscles. Grab your imaginary weights. Hold those arms into 90 degrees. We're going in three, two, one. One whole minute. Bicep curls up. Pump it, get those arms moving. We're holding light weights, as many reps as we can. Yeah! Woo! And if some of this stuff does not seem familiar, maybe you haven't done many of these workouts before, we have a whole other round of these to go through it. Good. Pumping, pumping, keep it up. Fantastic. Good. A minute of bicep curls is a lot of time, but the nice thing is we have that break 
before we do our second set. Awesome. Last 20 seconds. Keep it up. Pump, pump, pump. Mm -hmm. Good. Woo. My arms are starting to feel it. Burn it out. Give me 12, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Yeesh. Arms are a little tired there. All right. Let's make our way down into plank position. Four plank rows. Keep that cycle going. Coming back into plank. One minute. We're going in three, two, and one. Left hand comes back. Right hand comes back. Get those elbows up and switch. Always an option to do these on the knees, but at least try and do the first part of the exercise in plank if you can. Good. Working the muscles of the back to help lift those arms up and off the floor. Yeah, here we go. Woo, half done. I'm right here with you. We're going through it. And pull. Up and up. Amazing work. Last 20 seconds. Bands are working. Body is moving. All right, we have 10. See if you can do eight more. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Drop the knees, but staying down on the hands and knees because our next exercise, our forearm plank rockers, we're going side to side. Go ahead and make your way down all the way onto your forearm. Step back into forearm plank. One minute. Time is going. Side, other side. One side, other side. Good. That's it. Nice. And my forearm is parallel with the top edge of the mat as I'm doing this. Keep rocking it. Keep going. I'm going to see who we've got on our Zoom today, Instagram. Keep working through it as well. I think I recognize that background, George. <laughs> it looks like the Santa Monica Pier. Hold on, no. Maybe it's the Huntington Pier. Some kind of ocean pier, and that's familiar to me here in Santa Monica. You've got a Stephen Laurel-esque background. Great, we're half done. Then after this, we get to go through it one more time. Yes. Good. Nice, Sophie and Sydney looks great. Yeah. Last 15 seconds. Yeah, keep moving through it. We get our break, our water, our pause after this. Give me eight, seven, six, five. Great, Jim. Four, three, two, and everybody up. Grab water. Take a rest. All right. Next up, we are going Oceanside. It's the ocean side pier. Got it. <laughs> George's background. I like the uh, changing picture. Keeps me on my toes. All right. We're going at it again in 30 seconds. So take this time to let the heart rate slow down. Maybe shrug the shoulders out. Coming back into those forearm fireworks. Okay. We're getting those cycles going. We have 10 seconds. Arms out by the side. One minute as fast as we can in three. Two, one, let's do it. And you've already done the first round, so you know if your cycle is difficult enough or not. There is no need to stay on the same level if you have the opportunity to increase the difficulty and your body can handle that. So keep that in mind. Always revisiting ways to challenge ourselves. Yep, there we go. Pump it out. Woo, extend those fingertips out. Amazing. All right, we are half done. And this is our last set of finger, forearm, firework, finger movements of the week. Let's get our forearm going. Good. Last 15 seconds. All out, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. 10, 
nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. We have 20 seconds to make our way down onto our floor for our tricep dips. So come on down. We're going again in four, three, two, butts off the ground, one minute, down and up. Option to have straight legs if that suits your fancy for today. Good. And I like to spread my fingers wide when I'm doing my tricep dips and really press the base of my knuckles into the floor. Help take some of the pressure off the wrist. A little food for thought there. Whew. That's it. We are half done. See if you can pick up that pace. Even more. Hips up. Yeah. Last tricep work of the day. All in, last 15 seconds. Here we go. See if you can do 10 more. Yes, we have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come on up. We'll take a quick stretch at the end of this and know we get our full stretch tomorrow. Bicep curls in 10 seconds. We're jamming, we're moving. I love it. We have five, four, three, two. One minute, bicep curl, pump. Awesome. Good. After this, we have our plank rows and our forearm plank rocks. Then we get to swap our bands out and have the question of the day. And our question of the day, I'm really curious to hear your responses. So I'd appreciate if people can answer it as best they can and as many people can. Awesome, pump faster, faster, move it through, move through it, whatever I want. Woo, half done. Yeah, squeezing those bands, squeezing those arms, squeezing those elbows, 20 more seconds. I got my sickle on, I'm sweating already. It's also about 90 degrees in LA right now, which is pretty toasty. Woo, last 10, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Make your way down onto hands and knees. We are doing plank rows, getting those elbows all the way up and switching in five, four, three, two. Step back into plank, one minute, row, switch, row, switch. That's it. Coming down, seeing how we're doing. Nice, Diane. Ooh, good. Great job. Keep it up, keep it up. We are half done. Even if it means holding in plank and just doing one or two or three or four more, Try and keep moving, try and keep pushing through it. We're in a fairly safe position. Squeeze your core, squeeze your glutes, support everything you've got. Last 10 seconds, you can do it. Give me five more. Eight, seven, six, five, uh-huh, four, three, two, and one. Everybody drop to your forearm. We'll take some final stretching and arm stretching after this last exercise. Start to walk yourself back into forearm plank. We have forearm plank rockers side to side in three, two, one. Roll over and switch. And switch and switch. That's it. Try and keep those hips off the ground the entire time. Woo, Thursday, getting our heart rates up, getting our bodies moving fast. Kind of the opposite of what we did yesterday with body control and balance. All right. We are half done. Last 
30 seconds of our upper body exercise. Great. Don't stop now, don't stop now, keep going. Last 10. Good. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Everyone drop your knees, stay on your forearm. Keep letting that blood pool. Couple rounds of lower spine cat cow. Inhale, chest and tailbone lift. Exhale, navel to spine, round out. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, round it out. Now, give me two or three more and see if you can really kind of zoom in on each movement. So getting as much spinal extension as you can and then really doming the upper back. So working a little bit slower, articulating the vertebrae. There we go. And one more. Now, keeping your hips where they are, stacked over the knees. Start to walk your arms out. Hover the elbows off the floor. Dropping the chest between the arms, shoulder and spine stretch. And I want you to press into the mat with the base of your hands so much that your elbows hover off the floor. And you breathe. Nice. We got about 15 more seconds here. Keep walking the fingertips away from the tailbone, creating length in the sides of the body. Good. And start to walk the hands back towards the body. Come on up. Tricep stretch, right arm across the body. Keep pulling the shoulder back and the arm in. And switch, left arm across the body. And release, let's go ahead and swap out our arm bands for leg bands. The question of the day is, how do you describe katsu to your family and friends? I'm curious. <laughs> How do you describe katsu to your family and friends? And if you don't, what are you doing? Get talking about it. <laughs> Otherwise, one or two sentences. I'm sure George will come in with something interesting here. Well, I have to uh, talk because I can't quite write it all down, but I, I describe it. it as these high tech bands that stimulate growth hormone and, ex and nitric oxide and makes me uh, younger and certainly wiser. Something like that. I love that. Also, we're very well summarized, Jim. That's really great. Thank you. Let's see. Steve has an answer. The most convenient way to exercise without moving. <laughs> oh, that's great. Anyone else? And there's no wrong answer here. This is not a test. Um, just curious, because it seems like to me, every person has a slightly different answer and I like to hear them. George type in. Cindy and Sophia, I'm curious what you girls have to say. Mm -hmm. All right, get our bands gone. I want like one or two more answers. I'm not going anywhere until I get one or two more. I see George typing something. Create a, a, a mild type mus hypoxic muscle environment to, so the body will um, engage type 2 muscle fibers. 
And do your friends and family understand what hypoxic means? I live in a weird group. Okay, okay. <laughs> Steve, exercise from the inside out without oxygen. These are some interesting answers. All right. Okay, we can go ahead and get rolling. Uh, and if more answers come in, they come in. Thank you for those who answered. Instagram, we are answering how we describe katsu to our friends and family. Got one more answer and then we'll get going. More Steve, apportments, high altitude training. Sophia and Sydney say, bands that help build muscle for someone who can't lift heavy weights like myself. I love that. Also, you might be able to lift heavy weights. I don't know. I, I'm pretty confident that that'd be possible. All right, great answers. Thank you to everyone who shared. All right, our moves for the lower body are for the calves, overhead ball throws. Up, down, up, down. We have one minute. Then we're doing our squat kicks. After that, we have cross body mountain climbers. So I want you to think knee to opposite elbow. We're coming down, we're going across, across, across. Okay, getting some oblique and quad action. After that, we have curtsy lunges, side to side. Getting that back knee down. Then we have burpees. Yay! We'll demonstrate those in the time counts. So those are our five. They are not easy. They're gonna get the heart rate up, and we're gonna do great. All right. Step it wide, hands to hips. Give me some circles just to get everything moving and grooving. My cycle stopped, gotta get it going again. Other way. All right, now angle those toes out. We have overhead ball throws. Grab your imaginary ball. Get those tubes out of the way. I'm expecting some crazy action here. Get low, one minute, three, Two, one, up, down. Heels off the floor, drop it down. Good, as you reach up and overhead, keep those arms straight. Use them to help create force. Yes, amazing. Whew, there we go. Getting that heart rate up. Yeah. Uh, nice straight spine the whole time. Driving the hips back behind us. We are half done. Maybe a little jump at the top. Woo! Awesome. There we go. Don't stop now. 20 more seconds. I'm right here with you and I'm out of breath and I love it. Woo! Last 12. We have 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Three, two, and one. Woo, catch a deep breath. Next up, squat kick. Okay, take your breath, take a moment. We have 10 more seconds, and then we're going into it. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Squat, kick, squat, kick. Get low, kick high. That's it, keep it moving. Nice. I'm loving it on these kicks. I don't see anyone toppling over. We're keeping our body nice and straight. We've also been practicing that this week with our balance and body control. Phenomenal. Whew, there we go. Yes, 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 yes. We are half done. Keep it up. Great. See if you can drop even lower into those squats. Work the glutes. Work your quads. Last 20 seconds. Keep breathing. <laughs> Exercise without moving. Hmm, interesting. Last 10, see if you can give me four more. Eight, seven, six, five, keep it up. Four, three, two, and one. You have 20 seconds rest. Use it to grab a sip of water. And then start to make your way down onto the floor, we have cross body mountain climbers. Knee to opposite elbow, we're doing a full minute. 
I don't care what your pace is as long as you do your best not to stop the whole time. On your mark, get set, one minute, let's roll, cross, pull, get it in, in, use your core to help get that leg up. Whoop, there we go. I love it. Nice, keep rolling. Good, and as we're doing this, we're really focusing on the lower body. So stabilizing through the core and the glutes enough that our upper body is not shifting and rocking and getting crazy. Only the legs are doing the movement. Fantastic job, Instagram. Amazing job, Zoom. Nice, George. Awesome, Diane. Cindy and Sophia, keep going. You can definitely lift heavy weights. Yes, Jim. Woo, there we go. Half done. Now, this is the part where we're like, oh, man, I'm only half done. I kind of want to slow down. Don't do it. You've already made it this far. Don't give up now. Over. Up. Up. Yes. 15 seconds. This is our home stretch. Keep going. Pump. Lift. In. In. All right. Last 10. See if you can give me an all-out sprint. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Come on up to stand. 20 seconds rest and we're diving into curtsy lunges side to side. I want you to squeeze your hips. Squeeze your glutes, regulating the breathing. Big inhale through the nose. Let it go. All right. We're going in four, three, two. Curtsy lunges, side to side. If you want to add a jump in there, by all means. You can jump or you can step one whole minute. I have my hands up like this. I have no idea why. Do whatever you want with them. Awesome. Keep rolling. You guys really don't have to have your hands like this unless you want to. I don't know why that just made me feel balanced in that moment. But if you want to, you can do whatever you want. You can have your hands overhead. You can have your arms out to the sides. Sometimes I just do things and I don't even think about it. It just happens. Keep it up. If you're doing the jumps, keep jumping. Why not? Today's the day. Woo! All right. Yes, yes, yes. Amazing. Nice, Jeff. Good. Half done. Awesome. Keep it up. Getting that back knee down to the ground each time. Twenty more seconds. Ooh, there we go. Those hips are going to be getting really tired. The hamstrings are working as well. Last ten. Give me eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and 20 seconds rest. All right. Burpees are our last move. Ooh, it's going to be hard. Yeah, we can do it. Your choice, whether you want to jump or whether you want to step, as long as you're moving the whole time. We start at the top of our workspace. We drop our hands down. We either step or jump back. Drop into that push up. Jump up. Hop. Okay? One minute. Doing our best not to stop. In three, two, one. Let's do it. It's been a minute since we've done a burpee. We're tired. Our bodies are saying, I kind of want to rest. And this is up to us to say, no, no, no. We're going to get stronger on a cardiovascular level and keep pushing ourselves past that point where we really want to stop. Good. Awesome, Jeff. Great. Mm hmm. Half done. In between our sets, we're taking a full minute of rest. You can nap, you can drink water, you can sing, whatever you want to do, but you got to give me 15 more seconds of work. All right. See if you can do two more. We have eight, seven, six, five. Come on. Four, three, two, and rest. Grab your water. Take that minute to do whatever you need to do. 
See, that's the nice thing about circuits. We just like blow through it and then it goes by really fast. All right, We've got one more round. Then we are going to do a baby core circuit, very important. And then we get to do our happy dance because tomorrow's Friday and we made it this far. 20 more seconds rest. All right. Making our way back to our workspaces for what is five minutes of work, yeah? All right, overhead ball throws. Grab your imaginary ball, step those feet wide, shake your hips in anticipation, drop the ball down. One minute, three, two, one, up, down, up, down, that's it. Nice. Good. Get those arms all the way up and overhead. Make sure that when you drop your ball down, you are not rounding your spine out. Hips back. Up. Up. Yes. Working into the legs and the calves instead of just rounding the spine. Nice. Good. I saw a couple modifications. I love it. Half. Done. Keep it up. Keep it up. Woo. Big arms up. Yes. <laughs> All right, last 20 seconds, come on. We get a little break in between this to catch our breath. Yes, bring it home, 10, nine, three more, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And that three looks a lot more like five because you guys are flying and I love it. 20 seconds rest and we're going into our squat kick. Butt drops low, legs kick high. Start to step your feet into that slightly wider than hips distance, not quite as big as our ball throws. Whatever you want to do with your hands, we're going in three, two, one. Squat, kick, squat, kick. That's it. Yes. If you want to make these more challenging because you're having that kind of day, Hands up and overhead. Good. Keep it up. Nice, Dan. Amazing, Sophia and Sydney. Guys are putting in that hard work. Yes, Jim. That was a good high kick. We are half done. I know. <laughs> After this, we have our rest and our cross body mountain climbers. So we get to come down onto our hands for a bit. No more bouncing up and down. Last 10. Woo! See if we can do four more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. 20 seconds. Using that time to start to make your way down onto hands and knees. Setting ourselves up. Stacking wrists under shoulders, and then starting to make your way back into plank. Cross body mountain climbers in four, three, two, and one. Cross, cross, over, knee to opposite elbow. Good. And that is a fast pace that I'm working through. Pick yours, own it, and kill it. We are already on our third move of five. So after this, we only have two more minutes of work to do before our core. Yes. Mm -hmm. Half done. All right, all right. Get it, George. Now. We have 15 more seconds. I highly encourage you to pick, out the, pick up the pace and give me your last 10 all out. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hop on up to Zan. 20 seconds rest, and then curtsy lunges, and then rest, and then burpees, and then core. 
Yes, we can. All right. Step the feet however you want to step the feet because we're doing curtsy lunges. Starting with your left leg, either stepping or jumping in three, two, one. Side, center, side, center. And these are the ones where I do my, like my weird like, hands up, I'm guilty, I don't know. <laughs> if you want more, arms up and overhead. Good. Making sure that we are getting the back knee down to the floor because that is the purpose of this exercise. We're working our hips, working our glutes, and we're also working our hamstring, which is what enables us to get that back knee down. Mm -hmm. See if you can step that foot over even further to the other side. Work the muscle. Half done. Yes, yes, yes. Great job. Mm -hmm. All right, last 10 seconds. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Whew. Regulate the breathing. Start to walk your way to the top of your workspace. One minute of burpees if you can muster a jump. I'd like to see a jump because light jumping is really good for bone density. One minute in three, two, one. Drop those hands down. Let me see you jump. Push up, jump, and reach. Down, hop, push up, up, and reach. And if you need to like yell, give me like a whoo or like a ah or something at the top, do it. <laughs> Make noise, get into it. Yes, Jim. <laughs> All right, half done. After this, we have our core. And then we'll let everything slow down. Last 15 seconds. See if you can give me two to three more burpees. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Everybody up to stand, grab your water, take a sip. I'm going to demonstrate our core moves. We are going to do two exercises, one minute each. Yes, that is a lot of core, and we're going to run through them twice, just like everything else we did. So the first exercise is a overhead straight leg roll-up. I come down and up, down and up. I want to see straight spine at the top, so you're building the muscles that help support your back. Awesome for posture, okay? We have one minute of those, and then we have one minute. Haven't done these in a while. Just bicycles, side to side. All right? So, one minute of each, just like everything we've been doing. Pick your pace, make it sustainable, push yourself a little harder, and keep going. Most of all, have fun with it, because what else are we doing? All right, one minute. Roll up. Three, two, one. Here we go. Roll back. Roll up. Keeping your arms in line with your shoulders. Roll back. Arms up. That's it. Good. Get those arms all the way straight when you reach up and overhead so we can also get into our shoulders. And I want to see a super straight spine. So zip your navel all the way up to your chin as you come up to sit. Yes. And that seated part might be the hardest part of the roll-up for you, but that is also the most important part because we're building muscles to support other part of our parts of our body. Yes. Mm -hmm. 20 more seconds. Then we're going bicycles. Nice, Diane. Good. Core should be starting to work to burn. That is the goal with our minute interval last 10. Good. We're going to make our way down onto our backs in six, five, four, 
three, two, and one. 20 seconds rest, root your feet into the floor. Windshield wiper the knees side to side, giving the back a break. All right, next minute, bicycle. Take the hands behind the head, lift your legs into tabletop, extending alternate leg out, find contact with knee to elbow. One minute, let's go, side to side. You want more challenging? Make those elbows wider. You want even more challenging? Do it with straight legs. Options, there's always options. All right. Mm -hmm. Even if it's hard, especially if it's hard, I encourage you to keep working through the core part because building a strong core means we're supporting the rest of the muscles in our body. And strong core is what can keep us from having lower back pain and having better control of our bodies, especially on balance days like yesterday. So there is a bigger purpose to all this flopping around on the floor. And we only have 12 seconds left. You've made it this far. 10, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and rest. Everybody up to sit. All right. We've got our final round of core. Arms out. One minute. Here we go. We roll back. We roll up. Straight arm, roll back, roll up, straight. Yes, towards the spine. Great. <laughs> yes. Jeff's got some visitors. <laughs> Good. Nice. Half done. Once we finish the next 30 seconds, we get to take a nice, quick 20 second rest on our back. And then we have our last exercise of the day. All right, last 15 seconds. I know, see if you can do two or three more. We have seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, everyone on your back, rest. <laughs> Just got a whole lot of fun going on. Feet into the mat, windshield wiper the knees side to side. And then let's round out our last minute of work. Hands behind the head, lift the head, neck and shoulders, legs and tabletop, one minute bicycles, let's go, twist and twist. Are we flopping our limbs around or are we finding contact between elbow and knee and really working our core, working our obliques, getting into the purpose of the exercise? Ooh, someone had a chat. Hey everyone, I wanna say thank you on Instagram. Do, do, do. Hard workouts, I finished a swimming 20 kilometers without using arms and only kicking as a mermaid. No, hello, great job. Good to see you. You'll have to tell us why you're still around after. I'm gonna get them through this set because they're doing such hard work and then you gotta tell us all about it, good job. Half done guys, don't stop now, keep going. If she can swim 20 kilometers with no arms, we can certainly do 25 more seconds of bicycle. <laughs> yes, last 15. If you have it in you to give me 10 seconds of all of sprint, now is your time. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Knees into the chest. Everybody rock side to side. Merle, if you'd like to share your experience, go for it. We're gonna hang out here. Final twist, knees over to the left. Hi, everyone. No, I just wanted to say you guys have been part of this uh, journey and process. And, and today uh, we had really, really bad weather that even electricity went out, but I knew it that um, I will have uh, dolphins and mother nature behind me to do it, to help me to do it. And uh, without having you guys workouts during the quarantine and lockdown, I don't think I will be able to do what I did today. Oh, and will everyone's spinal twist knees over to the right. Uh, Merle, will you explain to everyone what you did so they can get a little bit of background? 
Yeah, so uh, I decided today to swim 20 kilometers, just kicking with my mermaid monofin without using arms. And I did that in Miami. Yay, amazing. Thank you for sharing, it's so good to see you. Everyone needs back to center, rock side to side. Oh, congratulations. Let's rock and roll up to sit, hamstring stretch, your precursor for tomorrow's workout, take a forward fold. And I might be mispronouncing your name. I don't know if it's Mel or Merle. You can correct me. <laughs> Doesn't matter. You can say mermaid. Our mermaid. Yeah. Amazing. But everybody who's doing wor workouts here in Gatsu know that these workouts really help you to be on shape and keep being on a shape, even when gyms and pools or beaches might be closed. Thank you, that means a lot. <laughs> Good, everyone hop on up to stand. Legs wide, final stretches of the day, right hand down, left arm up and over as I knock my shelf over, big side body stretch. Good, drop that top hand down to the floor, folding over the right leg. And roll on up to stand, other side, left hand down the leg, side body stretch, reach up and over. Making sure we're breathing. And drop that top hand down, big stretch over to the left. Let the head hang. Roll on up to stand. Bring the arms up, hands come together. Give yourself a round, good job. We did the cardio thing, we got through it, we held strong. And tomorrow we will have flexibility day. If anyone has any requests for particular body parts that they would like to stretch, um, feel free to either toss it in the chat today or just ask me at the beginning of our practice tomorrow. Great job, Thank guys. You. Thank you. Go Gator. Ha, ha, ha.